you have so many of a foil box in your collection if you are a nail techs or nail lovers and all the foil box awards in your collection and some of them are chanfer like a little bit some of them are blotchy and some of them not even chanfer this tutorial is gonna be a perfect for you hello everyone this is nancy welcome back to glitz live videos and happy monday and I'm so excited to be back with you today. We're all going to do another episode of the Chamfer Voice and the Technique. This is the box number 28. And I'm so excited because this box is so many designs and like a variety of summers. And I think it's like spring, summers and all furs. And I'm so excited to show you with this box. And we'll double check with this. Hello, Robins from Instagram. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hi, Shawnee. Thanks so much for tuning in. And uh, Cassie, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, Whisper Nails by Breeze. Thanks so much for tuning in. And welcome back to Glitz Live Videos. And thanks so much, TikTok fan, for joining in. And I am so excited because this is a box number 28. It was starting it from the box 15. And hello, Amy, how are you? Thanks so much for tuning in and happy Monday. Hope everyone been having a fabulous Monday. So for the box today is a box number 28. It's another box is cute and it's so much like designs and variety, you know, variety of like different color. So just quick recap and then before we're doing it swatching, I have the premium IHO Chan for Foy on all of my swatch five of them and i'm gonna do it with you as well so stay really tuned i'm gonna do this two coat of the is sparkly white number 33 on this and then we're gonna apply the chan for foy premium i hold chan for foy on this too i did this the other three already i just want to do this too so that way we can go right into the chamfer voice uh, techniques. So apply is really a good layer, not too thick, not too thin. Too thick is not going to cure properly if you are not curing it's under 48 watts minimums uh, and LED UV light. And then make sure you're getting closer to the cuticle line because if not, they will might not chamfer is great for you. And key is two so the um premium chanfer foy and then this one is already did the voice the premium i hold chanfer foy gels on and we're going to start chanfer some of the image we have 10 of different one that we are going to today and then stay tuned with me i will walk you through how you can do it like ombre with chanfer foy using a gel polish so right there all right, so let's see. We'll start from let's start from a super adorable pink colors, and then we're probably gonna use this one because for the chamfer foys ombre, it is so cute, and the color is so sweet. And then also, you don't have to do a sparkly white that I have. It's all for ten now because there's very different colors on the background, but you can do it exactly the same or similar colors that you have on the background, like this one's in this strip. You can do it pink on the on the underneath, like this pink. So it give it like have a um, pink on pink if you prefer. So let me transfer this. And then also it's really this one is even it's solid. It's so beautiful. And you can do it this is angle or you can do horizontals or you can do vertical. However, the designs and the patterns that you prefer, you can go with that. So give it a good to slide it on the top of the nails. And I usually rub on the highest point of the nail first. And slowly go to the side. And then give a good rub. Just in case when you're wearing your nails a little bit longer, when you're doing for the clients or when you are creating the press on nails for your clients, you can using the duo and tweezers and give it a good rub. 
Oh, you can see that it's already pop it for me. It's already released it for a film. And it chant for 99%. And even like I'm using the background in white. So if you are having so many of the foy box in your collection and they are not chamfered properly for you and it's blotchy and it's not do what it's supposed to, then it's going to be a perfect is chamfer foy gel for you. And this will be your bestie and will back you up every single time. Like moving on the next one. This one is so cute. I'm going to have it already on that one. This one also, you can do it angle, diagonals, you can do it horizontals, or you can do it vertical. I'm gonna put it right here. I love it, it's just like a solid color. Give it a good rub right on the spine first, and rub it to the right and to the left. closest to the cuticles. I'm going to using a dual end tweezer. Give it a good rub. Remember, so you make sure you apply, if you want to chunk for really closer to the cuticle line, make sure you apply the foil gels in there. And hey, MJ, uh, the drawing has already been posted. Just check out previous what you should see it. If you have a hard time finding it, let us know. Send us a DM, we'll send you a link. And a chamfer, 99%. A cool, so awesome to the team that we need to look at that. And then um, getting the prize for the winner. Oh, today's the 15th. Yeah, it's just a, it's a day that it's drawing for the support last month. I'm so excited. I'm going to take a look on the winner announcement. All right, so moving on the next one. So we have two of them already, and it chamfer so beautiful. It's nine nine percent chamfer. It was on. Right. Hey Heather, thank you so much. That one is cute, huh, Heather? This one. This one so adorable. Mm -hmm. It's box number twenty eight. All right, so which one? I. It's hard to pick which one because they were so beautiful. Maybe I should go with this one then. And then this one, the one I really want chamfer to. Like uh Pumeria. All right, so let's see what the strip. So again, you can do is uh verticals, you can do it horizontals, or you can do it angle. Mm -hmm. A little bit diagonal. Diagonal right here. Mm -hmm. Doesn't so it's matter. A more interesting. I'm gonna press it right here and see what it is. It's gonna be interesting that it had all the roses on the side. Give it a good rub and lay it right on the top of your the highest point of your nails. And then just slowly rub it toward to the side wall. And good rubs. I'm gonna need the help from the doer and tweezers it's already chamfer is already popped you can see that i feel like here you can see that it's pop it already out and if you feel some stick on it and you can slowly check if you have any of the bubbles at pockets it's a great chance for you to do it now to lay it back and give it a good rub and then peel off the film and here you have your beautiful designs. I like this one. You can go, you know, like verticals, horizontals, or diagonals. This one is a cute one too. Mm. All right, so I'm gonna cut this one to use it for the next design. All right, so let's go into the next one. I can't wait because this one is so cute and it has, it has a background of green and blue. The leaves and let's see what it is gonna turn out it's gonna be a great perfect um 
perfect designs, instant designs, whether you are doing for your clients' nails or you are doing a press on set. This is going to be beautiful and an instant stunning design. So I'm going to go ahead and place it like diagnose. Give it a good rub. And make sure it's in the cuticle. So if you want the cuticle line right here, it transfers really nice and it's not blotchy. Just make sure you apply your foil gels on that spot. Give it a good rub and it, oh my God, it's transfer so beautiful. Here you have it. 99% of your foil transfer into the nails. This one. Oh, which one should we do next one with the butterflies? This one is cute though. Let's do the one one of the dark one. And this one is one time is last. I'm gonna cut this part off. Oh, this one is beautiful. It's had look like a lotus and a roses. Mm -hmm. You think so? I think so. Oh, this one is cute. So I might, might want to go with this angle. Mm, this is so beautiful. Lay it right on the top of the nails and keep it a good rub right on the spine and slowly rub it right on the, you know, side wall. And you can see that when I'm rubbing it, it's already released the foil for me. Like I literally don't have to do, to rip it off anything is already released once it chamfer complete. Give it a good rub. Oh. This is so cute. Mm -hmm. And then you can do different angle. It doesn't have to be this. You can do just your lotus right here. It has super cute. You can do angle like this and you just get the lotus and a little bit of the roses. These are red roses. And you can do like have pink roses. This is so many. You can do so many designs, so many is patterns just in one strips. This one I'm gonna put one for like ombre as well. So next one. Oh. There's a one, remember, that you work here and it's still waiting for me. It's right here. So let me move that one here. This is box number 28. I'm so excited. All right, so another rose. Or let me do a green one. This one is beautiful. It's great for someone's love green. If Dom, you are here, this is going to be yours strips right here. Oh, this one is cute. You can do a right angle right here. Uh, you can do it vertical and also do it horizontals or diagonal. Vertical. Give it a good rub right in the center of the nails and slightly, slowly rub it on the side. Oh, it's already released. Look at this. I just need to like give it a good rub in the cuticle line right there to get it all nice in. And the rest of them. Oh, I have one spot right here. Keep the spot right there. You just like it back. Give it a good rub. And it chamfer. This one is cute though. Oh, none of them is not cute at all. 
All right, I'm going to keep this for maybe the ombre in a little bit. And let's do the blue one. This is so adorable. This is so cute. It's perfect for like summer's coming as well. This is like perfect vibrance for summer. All right, so let's see. This one is a cute one. Oh, I know which way should I go. Should I do this right in, in the center? Right vertical. Give it a good rub. And it's going to transfer nice and beautiful. Let me see. A little bit spot right there. If you're missing it, you just lay it back and chamfer it. It's gonna chamfer 99% for you. Ah, oh, Violet, yes, it's perfect though. You're absolutely right. It's gonna be a definitely, it's gonna be a perfect for 4th of July. Beverly, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so glad you like it. Nails on MJ. Hello, Marie. Thank you so much for tuning in. I know this is so cute. Stephanie, thanks so much for tuning in. Happy Mondays, ladies. Hope your daughters is getting better and better every day, Stephanie. Oh my God, this is so fast and the chamfer is so nice. And here is like recap and how many of them have we been doing? We have three more to go. Let's go in like have a magenta, purple, roses. This one is cute though. Mm -hmm. So Beverly, you can get this from our official website at goodsaccessoryandsuch.com. The link in bio. And then, oh, this one is cute. You can do however, whatever that pattern that you want to do, you can do is vertical, again, horizontals or diagonals. Which one should I do with this one? This is so beautiful. So okay. right here, mm -hmm. just like that just like that you can do however you want is never go wrong whatever you pick is going to turn out beautiful it's a great toy instant of cute designs whether you are doing your nails or your client's nails or the press on nails i'm going to keep it a good rub in the oh my gosh you just see that <laughs> this is ready to come out and then I still rubbing it. So then what happened like that? She just need to lay it back and it's just like, ah. Uh... But it transfers like 99%. Okay, lay it back because I have one spot that I miss here. Is this funny? <laughs> and Mary, you don't need, you do not need a top coat first. So like this one, we only have a two layer of gel polish color and then apply our premium transfer for gel and just simply put on your transfer for it. I use this color first and then the premium I have jump away. However, you can put colors, similar colors that you have on this, the, the foil. If you have, it's like a kind of a purple colors that you want to put underneath of it, you know, to get the background in the similar background of the foil, you can. If not, I'm using just sparkling white. That's the one I'm using it right now. So I'm laying it back up and it's just like chamfer 99%. It's funny, it was like, whoop, just like gone. Mm -hmm. All right. And we have two more designs. I'm so excited. And it chamfer so beautiful and easy. This is the one I'm playing just a few minutes before we start live to just seeing it how cute it is. But we did it ombre with number 18 is young purple and i'm so excited we can do is ombre with your foil using gel polish mm -hmm. so try hang on tight well we'll show you the subscription box in a little bit i'm gonna rub it really quick and right on the top mm -hmm. 
Yep, MJ, if you haven't yet get one, definitely get your hands on our premium choice of 4GL. It's just that good. And yeah, remember, we do have a special. You get the premium choice of 4GL, you will get one box of Transfer 4 to come with it for free. Yep, this one is the best chance for 4 yet. It's like basically hand down. And this is going to be a last chance for 4GL you would need for your chance for 4 nail art. One spot right here. And oh, it jumped from two. 99%. I love that. This is so cute. You can do it your what type of flower is that? It looks like mm -hmm. it's a so cute. You can do that flowers instead of butterflies, you know? You can. That is so beautiful. This one. Mm -hmm. I would want to do this one. And Latonia, so this is Tresor Foy box number 28. And then the last one in the box. And then we can do some cute, fun ombre using subscription box. Give me one second. I am having the box that I unboxing on the other day with you right in front of me. And I'm so excited to share with you. So give it a good rub. Right on the spine, like the middle of the nails, and slowly rub it toward to the side wall. So this is why we'll release a lot of all majority of all air pockets on the side. This one is so beautiful. Like, I don't even have to worry about like how entire the nails on me. You just like focus on your kitty cola line and it's so chamfer beautiful. So we have like 10 of them already. Nice and easy. And this is a box number 28. So let me top this one. First, with the matte top coat to see the really details when you see the details it of the foil box, and then we're gonna show the subscription box quick, and we're gonna go right into the ombre using gel polish and this box chan for foil. I am loving this; it looks so beautiful. It's just I didn't put it in the order; just like all ten of them in the box. So let's top it with a matte top coat. Also, you can do a shiny top coat as you prefer. The matte top coat, it looks so cute. Keep it matte so this will not glare under the camera. I know which one you like. I like this one a lot too. They like have a, a teal color. And then this one like, look like it's not a black color. It's like a really a midnight blue with roses. And I don't know, it's a lotus. Lotus? I'm not sure. It looks like it to me. But this one is tired of learning mini roses. And this is like perfect it's summers. This design, it just reminds me of like, it's more Hawaiian style. And the Pumeria, it's just so beautiful. Go ahead and kill for 60 seconds. I'm applying a matte top coat. So if you have so many of foil box in your collection and they're so gorgeous, so beautiful, and they are chanfling like blotchy and it's not chanfling in holes like this for you, that is going to be your bestie from now on. And this is only the chanfling for gel you would need. And be my bestie and it will help me so much with the chanfle foil and I know it will do that to you as well and it's gonna help you work smarter not harder the chanfers instantly no headache no struggling no frustration and you were able to use every single foil that you have so you don't go in they are not going to waste all right I am doing that one and let it here for 60 seconds. This one is done. I'm going to do it right back.
All right. And a quick reminder for everybody just tuning in. Any products you see Nancy use today, you can get them from our official website at blissaccessoryandsuch.com. Link in bio. And if you need help finding anything at all, please let us know via DM or email us at info at Bliss Accessory and such. And we will help to find it. So Alexandra, so this is transfer for box number 28. And Ali, currently we ship to US, Canada and Puerto Rico. So if you're in any of those regions, we can ship to you directly. Just the other side of it. You can see just how pretty that is. And recovering, Tiff. So we are located in Pensacola, Florida. Mm -hmm. Yep, tight. Definitely, they are gorgeous. And just hang on tight. Right up next, we're going to work with our. Subscription box, May 2024. All right. So we have, oh, this one looks beautiful. I'll take here. And this is a subscription box. That's the one, the box that I received and I unboxing like a couple days ago when it just first day released out. And it has like 14 different items in this box. So it's so beautiful. So I cannot wait for you to receiving it. I receiving the uh, feeling blue the fusionings in my box and everybody get a crystal clear so that way you can disturb disperse the uh, marbling you can able to create this marblings in nice and easy now let me zoom it out there you go ah thank you so much dom mm -hmm. so we're going to zoom out just so a bit. this is so okay. you can see what the box can yeah look like. this is box. it's just everything everything using it with a little bit under the cotton this to make it longer but it's so beautiful i've been using the box a lot and even yesterday with the live video was the last two days in live video i've been using it and i tried to put it back in the back so then i can take a picture for you so that is what i receive and let me know what you are receiving and getting in your is fusion aids and we all have the same triple polish gel polish and then the modeling love uh exclusive acrylics powders in the sub box and then your foil box and your stickers your crystal pieces i got this and then you have a crystal mega mix and you have 3d handcrafted flowers you have your chair blossom i received the uh, purple one so let me know which one you are getting there's like a pink there's uh teal there's blue there's white there is um red and yellows so many of cute colors of a cherry blossom as well yep and violet asked if you're gonna feature some of the foil that come in this box the feature the foil is coming oh mm -hmm. we did have one of we did have one i think we did a designs on it mm -hmm. so there are four box there's a mega mix so each of the four box is a each of four box is similar but they are mega mix so I can't wait. So the next one, probably want to feature that. We're going to do a couple of them. I think I did one of this, one of this one in the box. Uh, I think it's, I got the swatch it right there. Can you grab it for me? Yes. Yeah, so let me know which one, the foil box that make a mix that you are getting. I think... This is the foil box that I, I got some of the foils and I did it on this designs. Really cute because we did it is with the matte top coat. All right, so yes, definitely a great idea. We're gonna feature a couple more of them on the box. And then see what it is you're getting because I'm so excited to see what you are receiving in your box. All right, so here it is the Foys number. Yep, 
Why do I have this one? I cannot hear this. Do you know? Is that funny? Uh, it's like maybe I took forgot to turn it on. The light. Maybe. Okay. What's over here? Okay. Yeah. Sixty second. This is super cute. We're trying to like down like this. Mm -hmm. That's you like it because it's such your green. Okay, here's a box 28. So let do you ah there are so many different options to do it. Like even like you can do ombre liquid and powders with this, and let's do some some designs on. I have this is the nails. I did put the beige out already. And I am going to apply the premium chamfer foil and on half of the nails because you already see the full nails. So we're going to do ombre and see what color is going to go with. So we're going to pick several of them. I have a purple already, but let me let me apply all three more of this one and then see what other colors we're going to do. Make sure that I got it so you're not all right so this one is here I applied it on I didn't care so I said wait a minute this is the ombre and using the number 18 and this is a foil that I got into this now is a cute butterflies and the lotus it looks like a lotus yes I don't know. Have a really pretty flower it's cute though so which one should I do um Whatever we choose, I'm going to pick similar colors on the background, I mean on this, to ombre with. Here's my idea. I like to ombre this one. What do you think? They're both are swirl purple. The swirl purple? So I guess more like the flower purple. That's the closest one. How many both do we have? Uh, so far one. This one you mean? Mm -hmm. For the ombre? Because we already have a purple. Can we pick something else? We'll do like green, pink. So we'll make a variety of look. Um, well, I guess you want to see it again. So. Mm -hmm. A lady rally? Yeah. So hang on tight. We're going to do some ombre next. So you will see how we transfer. Really pretty. Yeah. I guess people okay. like purple. Okay. There's another vote for yellow. Oh, yellow. We can do yellows. We'll do yellows and we'll go back into purple because. And this purple, I know there's a lot of us like purple too. Let me find the purple colors. Because I do not have the majestic. Mm. Okay, so we're going to do another one. But I'm looking, I'm just trying to see what colors of purple is going to go with it. But before that, we're gonna do the yellows and getting yellows. I think I have a number fifteen. Is no, it's yellow sand. All right, so let's see. There you go. We can so do yellow or this. Okay. So let's do yellow, and we we will go right back to that purple. And I'm trying, to, I'm trying to gather this is my thought. See what is good purple. You know, I'm gonna get the majestic and then mix with the young purple. You see what yeah, I meant to get the good colors. Really deep one. Oh, let me see. Oh, that worked it. Yes. No, this one. This one is like more of the. A bit darker. Yes. See, so I'm trying to. Maybe we can get. Just give me a second. I'm like. Yeah, so it's just start with a yellow, and we will think about a purple as we go along. Yeah, this is like it's great idea. I'm just thinking of what color is going to be a good one for. We can do ombre with the cat eyes. Mm -hmm. Let me hunt it out to see what colors we have. I think this is a good one. That's 
might be a little bit bright. Ooh, what if I mix these two together? Let me mix number eight of I'm waiting for the foil to be um, done, but I'm going to drop one, two drop of cranberry. And we'll see how it's going to turn out. And a number 18. Did it just uh, for the purples? Anything but pink, right? It's hard as like a... Let chamfer this one first. We have the yellows right here. I'm gonna chamfer it first, and then we are going to work on the purple. It's definitely is yellow. Recovering. Thanks so much for tuning in. All right. So we'll transfer this one and put it on the side. And the next one, so we're going to do. It's the one we're talking about. I'm going to chamfer it because we want to work on this one. Give it a good rub. And I did have applied just about half of the nails. I didn't do full nails this time. And it chamfer right here and has some residues of the bay gels. And it's on for so beautiful in the pot that I apply. Okay. So we have two of them. Let me move this one on the side. Let me mix this one. Hmm. That is not bad at all. It looks good. It looks like the colors that we are going to do. And then we can top coat, we can add another layer of the foil of the uh, gel polish using the triple polish as the violets will suggest. We can add the one layer of this because this is just more of like um, a purple bluish. We can do one more coat of this because this is more like in the purple, purple, purple. It's more like a violet. So we can do that as well. Okay, let me move it in this one on this side. So I'm so excited because we mix the colors and it turned out really beautiful. So let's do this one for our scene. We have this. And we'll pick using the brush number 10, a single brush. Let's zoom in a little bit. Lady, um, let me, ladies, fiasco, did I say it right? I did premiere my whole channel for foil on first and then keep for 30 seconds and then, then afterward then I apply the foils on it and it chanfers on this nails that I have is chanfer 99% but because this time we're doing half of the nails because we're going to do some ombre. So that's why we created the it's going to turn out like that. And it chamfers really nice. And I'm going to go ahead and 
Well, this one it looks really closer to the colors that we are going to do. So I'm going to give it a try. So one drop of the number eight cranberry. And then is one drop of number 18 young purple. And I'm going to apply it right. Oh, this color it looks beautiful. Perfect. I will do this one first and then we'll do yellows right afterward. I'm going to do it right about half, a 50% of the nails and stop right there. And we can do it one more layers um, shortly. And I have the beige gels right next to me. So what I'm going to do is just give it a really quick swipe where the gel polish line that I finish. Thanks so much, Violet. I'm so glad that we find the colors. Hello, Sheila. Thanks so much for tuning in. A lot of you are tuning in. It's just so amazing. And Shanshai Boutique, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, did I miss anyone? I saw earlier, is Heather there. Dom here always. Um, okay. So do you know that I appreciate you so much that you're tuning in? So the number one a floral brush is ombre and floral brush, and I have it like here. I think it's IG. You couldn't see this. Just a drop of the beige gels. I have it so that way I can kind of like soften the bristles and kind of activate it. And you don't have to do it from the top of the cuticles. You only need to do a lay your is bristle nice and parallel, and kind of guide and gliding right on the top of it to getting some ombres nice and gradually. All right, go ahead and key it for 60 seconds. I'm going to apply. Do I apply one more? We try to apply one more nails with the beige gels, and then we can do more ombre. All right, so we're gonna continue like that's doing a second coat, but I'm waiting it for it to dry. So in the meantime, I am gonna check the comments really quick. If you are very in here, flex and lux. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hey, thanks so much, Violet. I know, right? I'm so glad we find the colors. That's why it's like. Purple, what purple? We're gonna make sure that we get some color similar to that one. And Instagram fam, thanks so much for tuning in. Robin, if you are still here, thanks so much for tuning in. And Stephanie, yes, yeah, stay tuned. I am going to do yellows together with all of us. Thanks so much, MJ. Marie, I'm so glad you like it. The matte is showing really nice though. But you can do a shiny or you can do matte. It is up to you or your clients or if they are just like going to wet the nails. All right, so we're going to do a second coat on this one. That is so not perfect. I like this color together, combined together. And it's so easy to mix. Just one drop of the cranberry number eight from the gel Palace Collections and number 18, Young Purple. I'm going to apply this really lightly. Touch. This is going to be a great way, great idea for you to do ombre when you are using gel polish. And it's so pigment that is already like ombre is nice, beautiful. All right, so submerging my bristles, number one brush, a dual end. So on the other end is, is a floral brush. And then I am a go ahead and keep it nice and parallel. Slightly brush it so that it is gradually ombre nice and it's flawless. All right, here you go. I'm trying to get there you go Instagram and TikTok. All right, 
go ahead and queue up for 60 seconds. Flex and Lux. Yes, that's a great idea. And then you can put some crystal on it if you want some crystal. And then, matter of fact, so you can add some of a super. I got this one in my box. So if you have a pink, white, yellows, that one looks so cute too, especially for spring and summer. Okay. And that colors is done. Moving on to the next one. I'm gonna clean some white off the bristles off any of the residues. So then we can move on to the next one. We should do some crystal on it and shortly. Here you go. All right, let's do the yellow one. Sheila, thank you so much. Let's move on to yellow one. See, it's one of using a number 15 yellow sands. I think this one you can use it with bananas or putting this like in different shade of yellow. So let's see what is. All banana. These two are good, and you can also mix them two together as well. Let me apply the yellow sun and see what it's gonna look like. Hmm, looks good though. You know that if you can't find the perfect colors that you want, you can definitely custom your own colors. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply about half of the nails. Give a good layer. I'm gonna do about 50% of the nails. And then is fur brush number one. I'm submerging into the bay gel, so you see it right on my right hands. And just keep your bristle parallels. And we'll blend nicely. First coat, and we'll go ahead and key for 60 seconds. All right, so this one, I want to do it is a premium chan for foy. I'm going to do half of the nails. And I will see what other colors want to do because I don't know yet. I really want to try this one. You know, I don't know. There's, this one will look good with the um, maybe neon green. Neon green, I think, number two. This one is also cute too. You can do number 12 of deep blue. And this one I'm thinking with the jet green, number 46. My ombre, wow. So let me know what others you want to see. This one, this one, or this one, or the green. There's so many colors, so many foils to choose from. All right, so what do you do? It? Second coat to a number 15. So this is going to be a perfect, great, easy way for us who is doing a client gel polish i'm gonna give it a good i'm gonna 
of like about 50% of the nails. And then we're going to use the bagels. And use a floor brush. Keep the brush bristles nice and parallel with the nails so that it will help you guide your ombres nice and easy and smooth. There you go. I'm so curious and if we put one coat of this one on, either pink, maybe pink. Can add some pink on it. Like have a pink colors from the gel palettes, triple palettes. Not add it on one waiting for the other nails to be cured and see what it is. Hmm, not bad at all. Just give you a lot of cute glitter and soften your pink and it blend is even so much better it's like, like a little bit of a glitter instagram and tiktok so i did apply that There you go. Okay, go ahead and here. This one is your option. If you want to adding, did you leave it like that? You can't, or you want to adding some cat eyes, you can also do it too. Let me see what is a cat eyes like that here. Number 42 of a cat eyes like a golden shy or is dash of green. I might I don't know which one should I use. This one, maybe because it doesn't change the colors. Which one should I use? Golden shy or dash of green. Ha ha ha, Tom Golden Shy. Yes, let's try this one. It is yellow nails for yellow fam. And then we just finished with like have a purple one. I'm so glad you are asking it because, all right, let's see Golden Shy. You know that you can stop at any point, okay? You don't have to go. I'm just playing with this and having fun and experience different of the color layer on it. I'm just doing half of it. And then we're gonna give it a quick ombre of a cat eyes. Here's a beige house. That's the, that's one of the strength that I just applied it on. So that's why this is gonna help your ombres go smooth and it's not streaky. All right, go ahead. And blend this keep your bristle nice and parallels and let's see let me grab the the cut eye too And was just like magnetizing. You can see that how it's moving is so cool, right? And that's it. If you like it like that, let's go ahead and here for 60 seconds. 
just enough so then you don't cover her and tie the nails with the designs same thing with this well this one will already have a glitter on it you can put some crystals some tiny little blings on we might get some bling on it so then that way it will look cute but it doesn't covers everything of the ombre part so we'll do it right here halos in the kitty calls line i'm gonna add some of this on it oh is it gonna look cool we don't have any of the crystal trifecta yet no condensed glue gel yet i'm just placing here to to uh, give it a, a night years if it doesn't want to stay because it doesn't have it we're going to do it shortly so what other colors should we try oh my god flex and looks i cannot wait for you to have your products in your hand because you can't never go wrong with this the chance for gel is everything and here's is the uh, cat eyes ombre I'm using, I did use number 15 is yellow sun. All right, so three. So we have purple. We have kind of a magenta, purple, magenta, and then yellow. Should we put some pink on it? So it make pink or blue. Or this one. This one is so adorable. I'm thinking of which one it's gonna look good candidate for that. Maybe teal. Teal is gonna be a good one. All right. So maybe this should I do this one to make it like all four different four colors. I have purple, magenta, yellow. That one. Brady, did I say it right? That one, this one. Let's give it a try for this one. Give it a good rub. If you have a hundred of a foy box, a hundred of a foy is image in your collection and none of them are chamfered and was not listened to you and it's blotchy, this is going to be your bestie. And even like I'm not even rub everything, it's completely and it's already chamfers nice and easy. Ninety nine percent. All right. So let's do some ombre on this one. This is cute and interesting because I'm thinking if you can do ombre, pink ombre, or you can do it that color, similar, like maybe teal, the good one. Mm -hmm. And you have a chance to check the comment? Uh, in a little bit. A uh, little bit. I was like reading here and there, but I'm sure I'm missing any of a comment at all. I might miss a lot. Well, anyway, Dom, uh, tell me your challenge for Nancy, and I'll let her know. And Krista, just, yeah, just like Dom said, it is our Gliss Premium Transfer Foil Gel. If you want to get this thing to get your transfer foil worth 99% of the time, head over to our website at glissaccessoryandsearch.com. Link in bio. And it's, it's the foil gels is under transfer voice category if I don't yep, get it wrong. Right. Oh my gosh, this is Paul Perfect. It's with TO number 37. So who's getting this number colors in your box? Last month. Dom, did you get these colors? I got banana. And like Stephanie, are you still there? Did you get teal on your box? Marie, did you get teal on your box? I'm asking, I'm checking. Uh, Robin, did you get teal on your box? And Sheila, did you get teal on your box? I'm just asking, you're checking who get a teals because so excited. Well, yeah, just keep going and whenever right. people come back, come back. Let me know if anyone is getting this color in your box. Mm -hmm. Dom did. Dom, did you get this colors in your box? I, Lucky I, I, you. I, I think Callie and Violet got it too. Oh. And yeah, she loves what you're wearing it right now. That is so awesome. You want to move? Oh, I'm going to need this one shortly for my. Yep. No, no, no. 
that is awesome. I mean, the yes, last one. Got one too. You got one too? Lucky you all, ladies. It's awesome. This is one of my favorite color. And it's so beautiful. It is so easy for you to do even a solid on the designs or ombre as well as the uh, marbling. All right. So let's do this one. So if you have teal on yours, perfect. Congratulations. You got a perfect color matching with this. It's If you don't, we can mix some together. All right. So let's see. I'm going to apply this one. Good themed layer and we're going to do two coat and start from the cuticle line and i'm going to do it right in a half of the nails to create it is like ombre so why not yes uh the subscription box is there for you so you can just subscribe and cancel the next month that is totally okay if you don't want to check it out head over today and go to the subscription box so there's no commitment we're not going to force you into like a two three years contract no it is yeah month by month so what i do is a uh, base i hope bay gels and the bay gels on the brush i know it's just such a great great box you definitely don't want to miss it so it's every single month it's different so this month's box is going to be different from the last month and it's going to be different from the next month. So I'm so excited for all of you all getting your box. Go ahead and here for 60 seconds. So last box is was really cool. Is last box has a lot of items and also this month box as well. So do not miss out. Why not check it out one month and see how it is. And there's so many value in there. It's like so much value in the box that you do not want to miss. And it's really a good and quick fast shipping with a lot of tutorial in the box as well. All right, so this is a voice in the box number 28. I will grab some if you will really like it. Definitely, you don't want to miss it out because when it's out, it's out. And then I love this box. This is has such a great colors and the designs for perfect for summers. Spring and summer, I was I can see that this one is cute. Spring all year, all year long. Wait. All right, so next we're gonna do a second coat, it's here. All I'm gonna just cap it right there where is the transitionings of the gel polish and the foil and start from a cuticle line, applies about half of the nails. Okay, apply one line of the bay gel. This is why I'm doing it, just to help its um, transitioning ombre nice and easy. And my number one for our brush. Keep it nice and parallel with the nails. And it will, it will actually is ombre nice and Flawless for you. Let me wipe it up. So when you are working on the ombres and you see your number one flower brush and ombre brush, just like this, it means it has a lot of like excess, you know, like products. So all you need to do, get in your linfi wipe and then just remove all of your products off, completely off from the bristles. And so that you can see the shape, it come back into the normal like this. And submerging your bristle back into the bay gels. And now you can repeat the step. So when you see that it had excesses, gel polish, or the products in there, pause for like one second and like clean the bristles like this one. Clean it off first. So then it doesn't have any of excess in the brush. So then that's why it's going to get like delivery back in. You don't want it. You just want it completely off. And then go ahead and cure. Well, this one looks good, not bad at all. And also this one you can do with um, cat eyes as well. It's like a good candidate for the cat eyes too. I think I got the... 
it fascinating fascinating too today because uh, the designs and the foil boxes turn out beautiful i'm gonna open it, that one add some crystal on should we add some crystal on i have crystal mix from my my mix mix bags and also have I mean, this mix bag, the collectible, I mean, the mega mix crystal bag. If you haven't get time to look at it, there's, I'm going to show you a couple bags. You will tell me what you think. This is a closive the mix mega mix bag and has so many elements, charms and chains. This is I'm talking about the mega mix. If you are for Sam or you are like a love of crystal designs and you were thinking of to getting a different crystal kits or what do you start and you have like so many of ideas and it could be overwhelmed. And this is gonna be a great way for you to get started. Get one or two back of the crystal mega mix and then you have all the metal charm and metal chains i mean frame beads fillers centerpieces charms you name it you can wait months back and it has everything you could thinking of or you can get five bags and then you receive one for free and you can also get 10 bags you receive another three bags for free they're so beautiful Let me know if you are placing any orders and you want to see me to selecting and pick the bags for you. It was such a really great video and fun. So many. And then if you order 10 of them, there are none, 10 of them are not identical. They're all different. So we'll make sure the team was selecting all the compute bags for you. So that way you have variety of what you are going to create with. Dom, you get such a great tens bags, and you get three bags for free, and you get tens of different bags, 13 different bags. Oh my god, this one is cute. This one is so cute. I'm too excited. Too many is bags for you. So if you are going to the Oregon Nail Expose, it's coming next month. I mean, the beginning of the next month, May 5th, I believe. There's a hundreds of different bags of make a mix bag for you to come enjoy and select it out. If you are coming to the shows, we have a lot of DM and requests to bring that to the show. So let us know if y'all going to the shows and what you want to see and what we you want us to bring. But then to the end fancy how to order you can able to get uh the mega mix bags from our official websites link right in bio it glitz and such.com you like silver palettes silver palette which super beat oh silver silver beat i love it too it's so beautiful violets Oh my God, Michelle, yes. I cannot wait for you to receive it. You're gonna love all of them. There's 13 different bags, it's on your way. Josia, do you have gels? Did I answer the question from Josia? Uh, Dom did. Oh, good, all right. Okay, good. All right, so what we should do now? Some of the crystals or you like it. I'll do some of the crystal for the um, I do some crystal from the sub box. Okay. So All right. Close this. Yep. I'm gonna close that one. And if you are love doing a crystals and you will feel a little bit of like kind of intimidate because your crystal will not staying on or is getting in too much of hustle for you to offer for your clients or doing is the press on nails or doing for your nails. This is gonna be a great technique for you. And this is gonna be the only tool that you would need to perfect your crystal designs. It is a crystal trifecta. 
So we have the condensed glue gels. And then is no wet top coat. You can do a shiny top coat or a matte top coat of your choice. And then precision glue gels. This is to keep all your crystal charm chains and last for weeks to come. So let's get started with the condensed glue gels. So we're gonna do, let me get my tinted brush. Gonna pick the a uh, good beads, like I would say about smaller beads of a condensed glue gel. It's really density, so then you don't need a whole lot. Little go a long way. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm looking at in my mix bag and see what I have. It's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it all and tie the nails. And floating you know what top coat on the top so now you can do matte or you can do shiny is really up to you and up to your client choice and floating the matte top coat this one had so many Hey, why not? Yeah, that's so, so awesome. Yep. So once you receive the box, let's just do a box opening, do some creation with it. We would love to see. I cannot wait for you to receive it. All right. So I'm using the mix bags from the sub box. And I'm always thinking of what I have. This is a cute, it's funny. We have roses and then we have cherry blossom. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna select one of the, here's a some tip and trick for beginners is crystal creation. When you are going to see the mix back like this, don't feel like overwhelming. This is a, absolutely a great variety of a collection of all the crystal and charms. So you have a lot for you to create it beautiful design so don't overwhelm any any charms and a bigger um crystal or charm it can be your beautiful centerpieces so pick whatever like at this one i am selecting the chair blossom in my a subscription box and place right where you want you're getting closer to the cuticles if you want to or right in the middle of the nails as you prefer however you like and then you'll start working using your is filler and i'm gonna place it surround with my chair blossom so I'm gonna get that one and place this. It's like everything is in my box. This one is cute. So fancy, the Kines Glue Gel and the White Top Coat just kind of lay together and just create a stronger bond. And also because the No White Top Coat on top, you will not have a tacky surface once you're done with your creation. And you won't have the problem of try to get the top coat on it so you might get it on top of your crystal do them too that's it this is super adorable and it's so cute I'm gonna add other fillers. There's all the SS in the beautiful crystal mix. It is the the crystal mix that we have it from the sub box. It has all different filler. It's had the from the SS3 all the way to the SS like 16. So I'm gonna add it right there. And some of my silver beads. I'm using both in gold and silver. You're welcome, Fancy. So yes, that's what we call our crystal trifecta technique. So you gotta lay your condensed glue and know what type of flow over it. 
do your crystal design, whatever you're ready here. Then you're going to do precision glue gel to make sure you fill in all the gap. So you're going to do a little, little bit. I'm going to drop them. The best thing about this crystal trifecta is I love it how you see that, how we can adjust in your crystal however we want. And then when you're ready, you can go ahead and cure. So you have all time in the world so you don't have to worry about, oh my gosh, you, your gel or your glue is dry and it's not, it's not like the place that you wanted. So it's hard for you to remove it or to adjusting it once it's set. With the crystal trifecta, you don't have to worry about it. Now take your time and master your beautiful designs before you final cure. So I just take advantage from it's not drying. I'm going to cure it shortly. But then I drop one drop of precision glue gel right in the middle of the uh, chair blossom. And then I place one bead in there. You don't have to if you don't want. And just play it there and go ahead and cure for this 60 second. Should do all of them. It's really simple, quick crystal design because this is you can do it like this design. And the price for this crystal design, so if you are doing a press on nails or the crystal or the um, services for your clients at the salon, this is, can run in with between a good of like eight dollars to ten dollars per nails, and it's really fair for you and also for your clients. And also, this is gonna generate extra of the income on the tickets for you. So it's definitely just a suggestive, a lot of folks yes. So what I think is you're going to do the cranberry and the purple and leave the gold alone because the look goes bling by itself. Oh, you see, do you think the bling is by itself? I can bling the gold in like this. Look, that's it. That's all we at. Then you kind of lost the background. Yep, you put it in the middle, then you lost the ombre. So I say like, leave it alone. Mm -hmm. Well, it just depends on your clients. Some clients just want everything. Mm -hmm. So don't it might, don't like uh, assume the clients don't want anything. You'll be surprised when you have your clients that have ombre, glitter, uh, cat eyes, and a crystal on too. And they don't mind to pay the layer of layer of the beautiful art yeah. that you are going to create. Definitely talk to your customer. Each one going to be different and fancy. It does work for bigger stone, bigger crystal. And for like really big 3D blister, we recommend the extra thick condensed glue gel. I think it is awesome. Or Omega gel. Mm -hmm. Or Omega gel. And we have plenty of video on that topic too. So yes, if you need like a couple of things, yeah, send us a DM and we'll send you a couple of links. Yeah, we can do it like that one. If you want, you can do some close right there with Omega. Should we do it? Woody? I'm looking for, I'm taking some of the, okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, and why Nancy looking for her crystal to make that awesome design? Just a quick reminder for everybody just tuning in. Any product you see Nancy use today, you can get them from our official website at glissaccessoryandsuch.com. If you need help finding anything at all, send us a DM or email us at info at glissaccessoryandsuch.com. All right, so let's do this one. Should we do this one in the uh, 3D crystals, clust the 3D cluster? Might as well, you can show All right, so would you, here is for, a lot of us love the 3D big crystal. I have like a couple of a big one that didn't want to cover whole things. But what we're going to do, we're going to using, if you don't have the extra thick condensed glue gel, it's okay, give it to me. We're going to using Omega gels. Oh, this one, I'm most thinking I get Omega gels design. So we're going to get just about the a good beads of Omega gels. And you can get it in a bigger size as you are going to do, like I say, for instance, if you have your big crystal, you want to get a little bit bigger. So here's Omega gels. And with Omega gels, you don't have to lay the top coat right on the top. And what I'm gonna do, I am 
go ahead and place it one of a cluster 3D and do another one. So basically you lean them on the, like lean on each other. And Eggie, this one is cute. And this is can hold bigger crystals. So what happened that I have the, um, the mix back with the crystal right here and I have what I have in here so I can show you really quick. And on this, you can fill in to any of the, Edges right here. You can able to add some of the 3D pearls. I love it because you can still able to adjusting it. As you see me adjusting it whenever, however you like before you are final here. So you take the time and your glue is not running or not going anywhere. And it's your crystal is not even like wiggle it stay like really nice and solid so i'm gonna place and tuck one in right there and here you have it it's only cute though you can put the i see what i have a bows on it i'll have this bow on right in front of me right now this one is cute you can do a little bows right there mm -hmm. that was good with the pink one though and I get my uh, Princess Crystal Kits and I put the bows on it. Right. Oh, that's great. Work perfectly fine. Yeah. So I'm going to show, I'm going to flash key it for 30 seconds, okay? So if you don't like it, you can adjust it however you want. And after you finish, you can go ahead and flash key it for 30 seconds before you're moving on to the next design. So let's see. Maybe pink. Or let this peachy color. You okay. think? All right, so I think it's flashy is good. Okay. So moving on the the bows, I also can using omega gel or actually thick condensed glue gels. So omega gels is different between omega gel and the thickers is um, condensed glue gels because the condensed glue gel still requires of the top coat on the top. But the condensed glue gel can still able to apply also your flat back as well, but it's thicker. So I'm place it right on this angle. And kind of anchor your bows in. Okay, and I'm gonna move it just so that is stay in the frame, but it's kind of diagnosed a little bit. And again, a flash here for 30 seconds. That is cute, very different. So should we keep two alone? Mm -hmm. So you can see how a plain umbrella and how a shiny sparkly umbrella and how a crystal designer and how a 3d cluster look. 3d oh maybe we should do one omega gel flowers anyone should we do that and it's so nice and easy you can add some more crystal as you prefer if you don't want anything else you just top coat and we're going to top coat it first you know what let me seal it first and then top coat on that so then that way the mat it doesn't show through i'm gonna stick it in and make sure that i squeeze out a little bit when i feel scratchy right spot right here you're gonna check check right here and then so now if you pay attention and this design is a little bit different than because we do only a 3d crystal and it, with the omega gels and then we're gonna top coat it right after that we'll top coat around with the crystal placements, but not on the top of the crystal. Go ahead and keep for 60 seconds. And this, I'm gonna see, go ahead. There's a vote for 3D, do you wanna do it? 3D flowers with oh omega gel. <gasps> that is so awesome. 
All right. So I'm um, seal the bead, check on the crystal on the size, and then key it for 60 seconds. <coughs> you don't need to coat it on the top of the crystal because it's going to take it away from the sparkle and the shine. Which one? This one? You're going to do 3D? Uh, do it on the uh, mat. 3D crystal on the mat looks good. Mm -hmm. Because you're going to have chrome, you have shiny. So this one's shiny though? Should we do this one shiny? Shiny top coat and leave it be. Let it shiny top coat on this and then let it be because it's too fancy. Mm -hmm. It can be fancier if you allow it to. But I'm going to top coat this one first and then we're going to working on the 3D flowers. This one I did number 18 with the this foil in the box number 28. And I already did finish the top coat with the matte top coat. And now we doing a 3D flowers with Omega gels. OMG, can you imagine it? You can do butterflies with this. Butterflies or flowers. I'm not grabbing my beads just in case waiting for someone to tell me to do a butterfly. No butterflies. It's perfect for this butterfly. You want to do it? Okay. You're funny. You like if you want to do it, like you who could have stayed telling you now? No, because if it we have a lot of you are asking for flower. Hey, there you go. Okay, butterfly. Mm-hmm. There you go. All right. So two beads. They're gonna indulge you. Trust me, you don't have to make this bead perfect because it's omega gels. Even a 40 gel too. So I'll have two beads, one bead bigger and then smaller. You can do way bigger. Like as the other butterflies I did, it's big, big. Um, I'm gonna show you shortly. It's right behind me. If you can grab a couple in the book it's right there. Open the books. The reason I'm asking you and I'm voting it because and is anyone have the same like? All right. So only you need. You don't need any solution. No alcohol. No acetone. Nothing at all. When you're working with Omega Gel to create it. Besides, you see the beautiful how I applied the set a gel extension premix or a gel extension, you know, like set on it. You can also create so many beautiful different fun nail art using Omega gels and it's tag free. So when you're doing it, you can be able to rub some chromes on it as you prefer. Here's some of the reference. I did all of these designs on the live videos as well and also save it for all in all channels across platforms. So if you will like any of them, you can check them out. If you couldn't find any of the videos, you can definitely DM us. Our team will be so happy to send some videos for you absolutely for free you can watch it and learn and have fun this one is cute this one is clear i think we didn't put anything on it and this one is cute though we did it with the with the velvet gel no i think it's just one we did chromes on it we did a little unicorn chromes on it all right okay so let me know i'm gonna leave it right on the size here for us this one is cute though okay All right, so 3D dual brush. If you are getting your Omega gel, make sure you do yourself a favor. Get your bestie. This is the Omega gel bestie. It will help you with any of the fun nail art that you are going to create. So because we do design really small, unlike any of our silicones you were thinking out there, this is precisely designed for your 3D flowers using Glitz 40 gel, Glitz 5B gels and also Omega gel. So that way when you press it out, you don't press it too aggressively and this is all you need. Press it out right in the centers and then you will take your time and you can able to draw and mold your um, like your petals or your wing. It's just so similar. You can do, if you can do wing like um, butterfly wing or flowers, you can do either one. It looks similar. And today, I think in the morning, I believe Dom did cute probably flowers with the butterflies. I need to rewatch her life. All right, so press it down and take your time. This is not dry, unlike acrylic, so you can take time as much as you want. 
to master your butterflies basically your two wing look this cute is already covered i you can move that one up a little bit i just accidentally covered the butterflies from the foy but when you do this you can move it up a little bit and now if you don't want it you can move it up just remove your uh beads and row it back up but so far so good i'm gonna flat this spot right here and i will take advantage from this omega gels and replace a couple of crystals in All right, let's see, I have this one. I might use what I have in my book, uh, in my. I might use this one. There's a mix bag that I got from this box. Happy with this? Go ahead and keep it. If you're not, you can still go back and perfect the detail of your butterfly wing until you're happy, then keep If you're not happy working on it until you are satisfied with your designs, I love it. I cannot wait to, to share with you and to show you in person at the Oregon Nail Exposed. So we're going to do it like we'll probably, you can probably can stop by the booth, get some free gift, and then practice with us. Give it a good angle down. And here you have it. Go ahead and keep 60 seconds. No. 60 seconds if you don't want anything else. But do we do any chromes at all? Might as well, Might as well some do some chromes on it. Oh, I need to get the difference like condensed glue to uh, the Omega gels and I get different clones. I don't know where I just have this all the time here. And that's, and that's what we have. We're going to use this. My forever pink. Yep, let's do the forever pink. It's okay. But then when you're getting your Omega gels at jar, you will get a random of a free beautiful chromes out. There's a hundred different colors of the chrome. You'd be so surprised you're getting two of Omega gels like individual you get two of them um you also get two different is really beautiful random chrome so we don't give you like two chrome at the same size or two two chrome of the same colors you're getting two different ones so excited i'm so so excited for you so i only need just a little bit of the chrome this is might be too much just a little bit oh it's gonna be cool with someone getting a purple one i'm like thinking of it so I'm just doing it with this outline. And you can just see how that chrome is just defined every single line on that 3D shape with Omega Gel. That's just really, really It's like you, huh? Mm -hmm. You don't need a whole lot, just a little comb. Go a long way. All right, that's it. Want some more? You add some more chrome. But if you want just a dash of it, that you have it. Oh, this one looks cute though. It looks good under the camera. Well, because we put the mat underneath so then that way you can see it so much better. So now we'll make sure we are going to seal that colors of butterflies with the shiny top coat. Unless you want matte finish, but I think it's gonna look good with the shiny. And what? So what do you wanna do about velvety gel? So let me know what one you wanna see with velvety gel, and we might be able to show you. And Sierra, so currently we're in the cycle for the main subscription box. So if you if you have your subscription day coming up soon, and that is when we're gonna ship. 
So if you're subscribed, so it's going to be the exact same day as last month. So if you're subscribed on the 12th, it's going to be the 12th of next month. I'm excited for you. Sierra, I'm so excited for you to receive your box. So like say, for instance, if you submit on the 12th of each month, there's automatically on the 12th of each month, you are going to see the notification of shipping for your box is coming. And every single month in a different box. So they're not the same. So if you're sub on the 15th of each month, there was a, your box. And every month on the 15th, it will be your box shipping out. Oh my god, I love that butterflies. Here are another butterflies you can do as well. This one with unicorn, it didn't have a pink. Here's my forever pink. I know it's whenever you are like get tired of the pink, but this is pink right here. And here's the flowers. I think because I do so many flowers, like a thousand of video with the flowers, just so cute to do is some butterflies with you and um but hey, let me know if you like flowers. And I was like, like, Nancy, go back to flowers and I'll do it. This is one. Looks good. It's already done. So it's only this one is stay remaining. It's plain. That's awesome, Sierra. So even you subscribe to the sub box today, it likely already been shipped out and you should receive it in about two, three days. Here you go. It's a final look. And the cushion, it was so much fun to do too. And I don't know, we have this one. I think we did this one online too. We did we the did, cushion online. We did most of them online. I don't think that any we don't do online. I think we did it all online videos with all of you. This one I did at box number 17, just in case you really like it. And then this is box number 19 or 21, one of the box. It is. Uh, I'm using on the top of velvety gels. Okay. So here's the final looks, and let's recap it. We did it. It's really good today, everyone. Thanks so much for like always contribute and help me out with a lot of different designs. And some of your idea is great ideas, and I'm loving it. All right. So this is the colors. I mean the designs from the Foy box number twenty eight. <laughs> Here's a box number 28. Okay. And then we did the solid to see how beautiful it is, the colors and the designs. And also we using that foil box and created some ombre look. And I didn't want to cover everything. So you can still some, you know, this one is beautiful ombre. And then you can do it just the plain foils completely full look or you can do with ombre with other colors from glitz like this one i'm using with teal number 37 and then this is a yellow foil i'm using with number 15 yellow suns from a gel polish and then this is purple's foil i'm using with number 18 is young purple and this color is beautiful like have a magenta rose it looks really good in person though I'm not sure that why I didn't map this one. It should be map this one. I think I did precision glue gels on this one already. And that one, I think we did the colors of this two color combination. I loving it. Thanks to um, Violets and a lot of you, if I missed your comments, are asking for purple nails. Here is this two that for the dark nails. It's eight, number eight cranberries and number 18 is the young purple. And that is created, it's really cool and stunning color of like magenta, like have a roses color. And we did using some crystal from the this month subscription box. I mean, not this. 
I mean, May subscription buff. I keep saying this month subscription buff. It's still in April, but we already have a May's buff. It's launching it out is three days ago. And I am so excited for you to receive your box. All right, so this is, here you go. So this is the color of this too, the number eight and number 18. If you're ours, you know what, looking for this color together. Okay, and here's the final looks. And in the meantime, let me put this one. Can you move all of them out for one second? And um, all right, next we're gonna grab something cool to show you guys. Meanwhile, this is the final look for the old design we did today, along with the 10 design from our transfer five box. 28. All right. Let me see. Do I have my phone? For everybody just tuning in, any product you see in SEU today, you can get them from our official website at glissaccessoryandsuch.com. If you need help finding anything or have any question about your order, do you send us a DM or email us at info at glissaccessoryandsuch.com. Awesome. So, Sina, I am here with you on live. Um, accidentally. All right. And Sierra, so no, the box will just come with the box, and it does not come with the swatch. Um, nobody can see it. Right there. Hold on, one second. Okay, so for a lot of you who are asking for the last month raffle. So the order number two, 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 hold on, let me write down. Twenty two thousand two hundred and twenty nine. I got the order, the we number. Oh, that's a good number. I think it's the right. Yep. 22,229. Nine. Nine. So you have four, two, and one nine. Yes. So congratulations to the order number 22,229. If you are this number, we're waiting for you. show you but the five colors of a five four a six color of 5d gels it is wrapped and ready to be shipped to you and thank you so much for all the glitz subscribers every month we have it except last month will in each of 
also have twenty dollars of a gift from Glitz in there. So there's no is raffles uh, price on this, but this last month, April month, there's the the winners number two 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 nine twenty two thousand two hundred and twenty nine. That's the number. So congratulations if you are in this numbers order numbers. We're waiting for your email so that we can ship your beautiful gift to you. But also, thank you so much for all Glitz fam. Every month, as a beautiful is a raffle, is um, prize art, you know, for your all for all of us who is subscribed to the box. And you do not need to do anything. Your order number will be the ticket to enter to win. And last month, it was my April box. It was the prize is a five gel set of six body gel set of six and do a 3d brush this month and i mean Mona, so the raffle is going to be usually every month so you just subscribe today so in your subscription box you're going to have a note to tell you which the price is going to be for the raffle and it's going to be dropped on the 15th of next month so on the 15th of may you're going to get into the drawing and if your order number is the one it's shown on the screen you're a winner Yes. So besides, there's a lot of products in the box. And also, you get a chance to win. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to enter nothing. Your order numbers will enter it for you. And then every month, so we are drawing on the 15th of each month. So let's see. We have a Padija one, two colors. All right, so if you are here, just wonder who is in that numbers. I'm so excited. This is the one colors from your 5D gels. I love it. I maybe I should do a 5D gels tutorial. It's the tarot. That's the colors number one. And then just turn it on. And then the number two is grapes. Here's a price for the winner. This is my box i'm showing it to you but here's a prize it's waiting for you to claim if you are the number you are holding the numbers the order numbers is twenty two thousand two hundred and twenty nine this is your prize so we're waiting for you to send us an email so we can ship the beautiful prize to you also thank you so much for all subscriber it's such a great month and it's fun to have your joys and we hope you enjoy every single box that you get received so this is colors is the strawberry and it's so beautiful though let me know if we should do the tutorial with this 5d gels and they're all solid too and when you work with this you don't have to worry about it's going to set and going to dry until you are going to cure so you have plenty of my ones. Well, I'm just open it all here. So this one. Let's see. Number one is tarot. still really well it's so beautiful it looks solid like this but when you put it on it's so beautiful i have also here's a here's a designs for that first colors is taro right there the 3d flowers and then you might want to let me open number two Here's number two. 
grapes. Right, here's a number two. Mm -hmm. Right there. Ah, I like that a lot. And here's the grapes. Okay. And number three. Strawberry. This is so cute though. Looks so beautiful and it's shimmery. It's so easy for you to mold and sculpting your 3D flowers. And number five is plum. It looks so beautiful in person though. It looks like I have a duck when I look at it on the top down. And okay, let me move two or three of it down. How about that? Okay. And then number four, five is matcha. And number six is baby blue. This one is cute though. This one, this is, you know what is, if I look at this, this remind me of Omega Jowls with the um, cat eyes on it. If you are here, Dom, you think so? Looks so cool and it's had six colors. So for winners number 22,229, if you are here or if you are watching it, we post it all across the platform on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. If you see your order number, please email us. We're waiting for you so then we can ship your beautiful gift and a raffle gift to you. And also congratulations to all a subscribe member. Are you receiving a beautiful box every single month? Each month I have a beautiful box with a lot of is value products and content in there. And thanks so much for allowing Gliss to be part of your journey. And I can't not wait for you to receive your box and May box. And also good luck with the May's box as well. And this May's and this coming, I mean May's box, you are. All the subscribe members will enter to win a gel painting set of six color. It's the bottle of gel painting. You see me do it all the times and then six different colors. So I'm so excited for all of us to see who is going to get this bottle of a six color of gel painting. So this is for a April box and waiting for the winner to email us. And that's this number. And also when you are placed on that, it's going to show it the numbers of the winner right there for you. So here is a final looks. Oh, Violet, yes, congratulations. Right here. Hey, thanks so much, Michelle. Thank you, Dom. I know, I agree. You love the plums color. They're all so beautiful. Like, it's hard to pick which one, though. The grape looks good. They're also taro. And then also you can do it, combine them all together. Like I said, I was thinking of like you can do either by itself or you can do like this. It's kind of a, a cute taro colors and then using your matcha to make it like a leaf. If it's remind me of like um, when we're doing Omega Gel together. Let me show you the Omega Gel. Look. It's remind me so much of Omega gels with the um, cat eyes, but instead of we doing cat eye first and then we're putting the colors on, this is all the instant colors on it. It looks, you have to see it in person though. It looks, I'm not sure you can see the reflection of it under the camera, but it's remind me a lot with Omega gels and the cat eyes. So we would have to do a cat eye first and then Omega gel. But this one, it has come in your jar already right 
Yeah. Hi, Wanda. Tosha, I'm about to place my first order. So I'm so excited for you. I'm so excited for you. Um, Wanda, how many products in the Easter bag? Do you mean the do you mean that a mystery Easter bags? So in the treasure bag, there is no particular number of a product, but the total value you receive will be about fifty dollars. Yes, I love the question though. So then also you can have an option to selecting the the products. Like say if you are working with the gel polish, you can selecting the bags with the gel polish or you can selecting your bags with acrylic if your ours is working with acrylic or if you are uh, doing both acrylic and gel you can able to select and also is a great news the newest is treasure box is summer theme it is available right now great chance to grab your products and your box before you know is the season come so that way you can able to uh you can have your hands on it right on your box. Let me know if you want to see like unboxing and someday. Well, the, the trailer box is totally different from a subscription box. Subscription box is a value of $100. And this one, $115. And you're getting it for is $29.99. And it comes with whatever is in the box. You get to see it on the first day at launching. However, in the is treasure box, it will have a variety of option that it have value is to $140. And then you get to choose like gel polish, acrylics, or both gel polish or acrylics. You have a variety of, it could become velvety gels in there, it could be acrylic in there, could be uh, like anything, fusioning, 40 gel, 5 e gel, cat eye gel, gel polish, um, all different, like a lot of crystals, charms, and all different variety is related to whatever season or the theme you are going to select. Oh, that is awesome, Violet. I cannot wait to see you created some cute designs using that. You are very welcome, Sheila. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you love it. So here is the price for the winner of last month's raffle tickets on the subscription box and April box. It is a box already closed on the 11th of April. We're doing the box every every monthly box is three, two and a half weeks ahead of the month. So that way you have your products in your hand before the season or before any of a special holiday start. So Congratulations and thank you so much to all subscribe member and we cannot wait to see what you created with the this month the maze box and good luck with everyone so the next month is going to be even fun and we ours is have the price for the next month is gel painting set of six color so you also see this in your box as well you don't have to do anything the order number will enter you to win and here's a final look and here is a final look of the fire gel and here's a final look for our is for a box today with the subs you know subscription box here's the final looks to all of us thank you so much everyone for tuning in i hope you're really enjoying it as much as i do and if you have any question regarding to the box subscription box or the tutorials or any products you are seeing it today, you can also DM us. And if you need any uh, tutorials with any related to any products, you can always DM us or reach out to our team at info at .com. We will be so happy to assist you as soon as possible. Thanks so much, Amy. I can't wait. I hope you can make it to the Oregon because you're so closer to Oregon. That would be awesome. It's going to be great. So thanks so much, Glitz fam. And we're looking forward to see everyone in the next uh, video. Thank you so much, Wanda. And the upcoming that we're probably going to be unboxing of the is Summer Treasure Box. And I cannot wait to see everyone. In the meantime, please have a fabulous Monday and productive Monday. And uh, take good care of yourself and your family and be safe out there, okay? We'll see you in the next live. Thank you so much, Dom. Now, 
I finished this part of my task, so I'm going to go and watch in your live, watch replays on your live videos. Thank you. Bye, everyone.